Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel Audio Video Me. Today I'm going to show you how to install a, CC, a CCTV system. Uh, for this demonstration I've got uh, a Swan uh, D1 uh, system with a DVR9 1425 9-channel uh, digital video recorder. Uh, it comes uh, with uh, uh, four Pro 535 cameras and uh, those cameras they are 650 TVL uh, crystal clear. Uh, this DVR is HDMI enabled and uh, uh, it comes with one terabyte hard drive. Uh, uh, the tools you're gonna need uh, are uh, you're gonna need a uh, drill to drill the holes and then you're gonna need the drill bits and you're gonna need a, a live wire uh, detector uh, so we're gonna start by unpacking this so I'm gonna review this product as well uh, let me just grab uh, something to open it one sec Okay, so let's just uh, open the box. Okay, this box uh, has the DVR inside, or oh, actually the cameras inside. So these are all the cameras with the cables and the power adapter, all the BNC connectors and the phono connectors. And this box should have DVR inside. Open this. Okay, this is uh, this is DVR uh, nine one four two five. It has nine input uh, video uh, BNC uh, composite video inputs and. Uh, it has a HDMI output uh, that goes to your monitor or telly. And then it has a USB uh, input for connecting your mouse. And then it has an audio output, uh, RCA phono audio output to connect it to your uh, speaker system or monitor or TV. Uh, then it has this uh, Phoenix connector for uh, controlling your uh, dome cameras uh, to tilt and pan if you have uh, purchased any uh, dome cameras uh, this is uh, for connecting it to the power uh, it also has a eSATA port if you want to connect uh, external uh, hard drive uh, it has this VGA port to connect uh, uh, to your monitor or TV uh, this is the LAN port and uh, to connect it to your network. Okay, and uh, that's the unboxing. Okay, it comes with the installation guide as well. Uh, so I would advise you to read this if you're doing it for the first time. All right. Here are the bits, uh, it comes with the uh, remote control to control the DVR, they have uh, their pack of uh, AAA batteries as well. There's a LAN cable that comes with it, and this is the power adapter for the DVR, uh, 
and here's the mouse to control your DVR. Uh, for this setup I'm also going to use uh, this Netgear uh, Powerline 500 adapters because uh, for this particular installation the DVR will be installed uh, upstairs and uh, the router is downstairs so we're going to take a LAN connection from the router plug into one of these connect it to the electricity and then the other adapter will connect upstairs and then uh, LAN connection uh, to the DVR uh, using this uh, as well so I'll show this to you uh, start by start by placing the cameras so these are these are uh, 650 TVL Pro 535 Swan View cameras uh, they are night vision cameras. Uh, you can check the specification of these cameras online or uh, in the book that comes with it. So this is the brochure so you can read the specification about the cameras and stuff uh, with, with the brochure that comes with it. Uh, uh, each camera has uh, two connectors. One is uh, BNC video, uh, composite video connector. Uh, that goes into the DVR and the other one connects with the power adapter. Uh, the power adapter so the camera comes with these cables uh, obviously if you wanna extend these cables are basically wherever you install your cameras then you then you so this is this is probably a 15 to 20 meter long cable so basically what you do wherever you install your camera you just connect this BNC connector the video connector to the camera and then the power uh, connector to the power connector and then this end goes to the DVR uh, video input. Okay, uh, this is the drill bit set I'm gonna use. This is the drill. Uh, this is the live wire and stud detector uh, uh, I would recommend using it if you have one uh, otherwise you have to be 100% sure that uh, wherever you're gonna drill there are no live wires uh, okay so uh, now I'm gonna show you how to drill holes and start placing the cameras and uh, later in the video I'll show you how to connect the uh, cameras to the DVR and configure it Okay guys, uh, just showing you how to drill. So we are just gonna place one camera there. Okay guys, uh, uh, we have installed uh, three cameras. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, once you have done your uh, drilling and you have located uh, uh, the placement for your cameras and uh, just just uh, uh, connect your cameras to to the desired places the places of uh, your choice um, and and feed the wires uh, through the holes you have drilled uh, to wherever uh, you are planning to place the uh, DVR uh, at the end of the video I'll give uh, some suggestions where to keep the DVR for the time being I'm just gonna show you how and where we have uh, uh, connected the cameras. So one camera we have connected uh, just uh, under the under the roof uh, to basically cover the cover the uh, garage area or where the car is parked, as you can see. So here 
the car will be parked two or three cars will be parked now the second camera we have placed is just right there so if anyone knocks at the door uh, you you can capture that person like knocking on the door uh, and and uh, see who's who's at the door third camera we have installed just right there uh, beside uh, uh, beside the side of the house to cover the side alley as you can see there is a side alley to cover that we have placed one camera right there okay guys uh, next time i'm gonna show you uh, the connections of the dvr okay bye uh, all right guys uh, this is this is the image of all three uh, cameras we have installed uh, so uh, i'm just gonna show you uh, once once uh, you have run the wires uh, coming from the camera uh, they're gonna go to the back of the dvr which i'll show you in a minute uh, we are using that screen to connect the dvr but we are just using this screen at the moment for reference uh, just just to test okay so if you let me try to all right so that's the back of dvr all the cameras go into uh, composite uh, video input and uh, those are B and C connectors and then you take a VGI, VGI out to your monitor or TV uh, or as, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video that this one supports HDMI output so if your monitor supports HDMI put you can just use the HDMI uh, port uh, okay guys uh, hope you have enjoyed this video and